sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide levels would soar, creating an atmosphere thick with poisonous gases. Respiratory illnesses would skyrocket, with many struggling to breathe in the heavily polluted air. Those without access to proper filtration systems would suffer from severe lung conditions, and the lack of medical resources would make survival even more difficult. Cities already overwhelmed by the destruction from the eruptions would become ghost towns as people fled in search of cleaner air and safer conditions. Amidst the chaos, societies would struggle to maintain order. With power grids severely compromised and transportation systems in ruins, communication between nations would become almost impossible. Governments would be forced to ration resources, but the sheer scale of the disaster would make coordinated relief efforts nearly unmanageable. As food supplies dwindled and desperation set in, conflicts over basic necessities would erupt, leading to civil unrest and breakdowns in law and order. Beyond the immediate survival concerns, the long-term effects on the planet's ecosystems would be profound. Entire species of plants and animals would face extinction as habitats were either destroyed by lava flows or rendered uninhabitable by the sudden climate shift. Forests would wither from a lack of sunlight and the once green landscapes of Earth would turn into barren wastelands. Even if volcanic activity eventually subsided, the scars left behind would take centuries to heal. As the world entered the second month after the global eruptions, survival would depend on the ability to adapt to these new and brutal conditions. In the next part, we'll explore how humanity would try to endure in a world where the very air, water, and land have turned against them. As the second month passed and Earth continued to suffer the aftermath, of every volcano erupting at once, humanity faced a brutal new reality. The volcanic winter had fully set in and temperatures continued to plummet. With sunlight blocked by thick ash clouds, many regions experienced an early and intense winter 